Today, we'll be talking about one of the greatest poems slash sonnets in written history by the greatest playwright in history. Can you guess who the great man is? It's none other than William Shakespeare. We'll be reviewing one of his greatest sonnets, Sonnet 80, which is called Shall I Compare Thee to a Summer's Day? I shall start. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of me, and summer's leaves hath all too short a day sometime to hot in the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dim. And every fear from fear sometime declines, by chance or nature changing goes until. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fear thou owest, nor shall death wag thou wonders in his shade, nor eternal lines to time thou goest, so long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. The interpretation of Shakespeare's sonnets are very difficult due to his usage of words and his master in disguising his words. I would give interpretation in two times, basic idea and then word to word. The speaker asks whether he should compare the young man to a summer's day, but notes that the young man has qualities that surpass a summer's day. The quality of a summer day can diminish with time. Then the speaker says the young man will live for him. There is also a very funny irony in the poem. The word to word translation of the sonnet is Shall I compare you to a summer's day? You are more lovely and more moderate. Harsh winds disturb the delicate buds of May, and summer doesn't last long enough. Sometimes the sun is too hot, and its golden face is often dimmed by clouds. All beautiful things eventually become less beautiful, either by the experiences of life or by the passing of time. But your eternal beauty won't fade, nor lose any of its quality, and you will never die as you will live on in my enduring poetry. As long as there are people still alive to read poems, the sonnet will live and you will live in it. The context of the sonnet is as follows. Sonnet 18 is a typical English or Shakespearean sonnet, having 14 lines of iambic pentameter, three quatrains followed by a couplet. It also has a characteristic rhyming scheme, ABAB, CDCD, EFEF, GG. The poem reflects the hierarchical tradition of an Italian or Petrarchan sonnet. Petrarchan sonnets typically discuss the love and beauty of a beloved, often unattainable love, but not always. Before ending this video, I really want to share some unbelievable facts on William Shakespeare. First, Shakespeare's parents were probably illiterate and his children almost certainly were. Second, Shakespeare's father had a lot of different jobs and at one time and point had become a glove maker. Third, Shakespeare had seven siblings. Fourth, Shakespeare has three children. Fifth, Shakespeare became very wealthy. Sixth, Shakespeare died on his birthday. Seventh, Shakespeare performed before Queen Elizabeth I and King James I and was a favorite of King James I. A. There's a conspiracy that Shakespeare didn't write his plays. 9. Venus moves are named after Shakespeare's characters. 10. Abraham Lincoln and his assassin were both into Shakespeare a lot.